Now to a Target 12 investigator's exclusive troubling ties. A meeting at the Rhode Island State House between silent business associates in an illegal marijuana operation. A top staffer to the House Speaker had a hidden stake in a cannabis business, and so did a known mob associate. I can't think of anything more brazen. A months long Target 12 investigation reveals a shocking relationship that links the State House to the underworld. And breaking within the last few hours, that top State House staffer has now resigned. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Target 12 reviewed thousands of pages of evidence obtained through a public records request. They include emails, text messages, and video, all part of a state police investigation into a mob associate, a cannabis company, and eventually the House Speaker's senior deputy chief of staff. On a brisk morning in late December 2020, State House security cameras captured a dark SUV pulling into a parking lot reserved only for top state leaders and their staff. Moments later, a figure in a hooded sweatshirt emerges. State police detectives later identified the man as Raymond Scarface Jenkins, a longtime associate of the New England crime family. Minutes later, the employee entrance doors to the State House swing open, and John Conti, a top staffer to the House Speaker, walks out and embraces braces Jenkins. The pair talk for more than 20 minutes in what detectives described as an animated conversation. Eventually Jenkins and Conti embrace again. Jenkins pulls away and Conti returns to his day job. Right. Conti has been a longtime aide to Rhode Island's most powerful lawmakers. Hired in 2006, he has risen through the ranks. John Conti, who runs operations here. Conti is currently making $136,000 a year as the senior deputy chief of staff to House Speaker Joseph Shikarchi. He does it so impeccably, such a hardworking guy. Jenkins has a long criminal history, drug and weapons charges, illegal gambling, and a federal extortion conviction and a major crackdown into organized crime 10 years ago that resulted in a three-year prison sentence. This is the back door to the upper lot. You got it. This is where all the lawmakers come and go. Where he shouldn't be. He 12 News law enforcement analyst and former state police colonel Stephen O'Donnell spent years investigating organized crime and is familiar with Jenkins. He's what we would call a mob associate. He's connected. He's a well-connected guy in that world. He's Target 12 reviewed thousands of pages of evidence from a multi-year investigation by the state police and Department of Business Regulation. It reveals Conti and Jenkins were silent interest holders in Organic Bees, a marijuana grow operation in Pawtucket that started in 2017. The business was ultimately shut down earlier this year, primarily because Conti and Jenkins failed to disclose to state regulators that they were key players. All this while Conti had a ringside seat for internal debates over state marijuana policy. I can't think of sort of a, a worse situation you could potentially find a staff member in um, as uh, you're negotiating the future of the marijuana industry in the state of Rhode Island. John Marion of Good Government Group Common Cause Rhode Island says there is a reason the law requires principals in marijuana operations to disclose their interest. One of the key tools to making sure that the, the black market and the, the above ground market, so to speak, uh, aren't intertwined is disclosure. A spokesperson for the speaker said in a statement, Speaker Shikarchi has absolutely no knowledge of the business entity known as Organic Bees or any of the other allegations. State police say Conti and Jenkins go way back. In text messages obtained from a state police search warrant, Jenkins tells an investor in the marijuana operation that Conti is my oldest and most trustworthy friend. And it wasn't just Jenkins. In a state police affidavit, Detective Matthew Lynch writes, Conti was surveilled by the state police at events hosted and attended by high-ranking members and associates of the New England La Cosa Nostra, including a Christmas party at a Federal Hill restaurant attended by members of the Mafia's top echelons, among them mob capo Matthew Guglielmetti and Eddie Lato, seen here in Target 12 video. In the affidavits, the State Police Intelligence Unit identified Lato for the first time as the underboss of the crime family. That is absolutely astounding. 
In the affidavit, Detective Lynch wrote that proceeds from the cannabis company Organic Bees were likely paid up to high-ranking New England mobsters. The law made it a point to say if you have a criminal record to keep those people away from the business for the same reason we just talked about. There's so much money to be made. Text messages show Conti used his position as a top state house staffer to keep his marijuana business associates in the loop. In one text from January 2018, Conti pledged to monitor marijuana policy writing they will never allow 12 more compassion centers. They may add a few. I am keeping close tabs on it. Six months later, Conti informed the group details about the final state budget hours before it was made public under then House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, writing, FYI, so far, no new compassion centers. All they want is three total. They left the plant limits untouched from last year. That can't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. And the consequences for that uh, need to be uh, as, as significant and severe as possible because uh, with this new huge potential industry in the state, we can't have self-dealing. Despite the mountain of evidence from the state police and DBR, a lawyer for Conti said in an email, Mr. Conti had no role in the business organization Organic Bees. Mr. Conti has been employed by the House of Representatives honorably serving under four speakers. Again, just hours ago, Conti resigned from his state house job. In February, the state shut down the marijuana operation in the wake of their investigation. Jenkins pleaded no contest to perjury and misdemeanor charges of conspiracy and filing false documents. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. New details now in a Target 12 investigation, troubling ties. At five, we revealed how a top staffer to the House Speaker had a silent business interest in an illegal marijuana operation, along with a known mob associate. In the wake of our findings, some are calling on lawmakers to close what they call a loophole in the state's new marijuana regulations. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Hours before this investigation aired, John Conti resigned as the House Speaker's Senior Deputy Chief of Staff. He was making $136,000 a year, but a state police investigation shed light on another role that they say he kept under wraps. This State House surveillance video obtained by Target 12 through a public records request was at the center of a state police investigation into mob associate Raymond Scarface Jenkins. Detectives say this is Jenkins wearing a hooded sweatshirt in a State House parking lot reserved only for top state leaders in their staff. A short time later, John Conti, the senior deputy chief of staff to the House Speaker, exits the building. The pair talk for more than 20 minutes before they embrace in part ways. A multi-year state police investigation reveals Conti and Jenkins were silent business associates in a cannabis cultivation business called Organic Bees. The state shut the company down primarily because Conti and Jenkins failed to disclose to state regulators that they were key players. A Target 12 review of evidence from the case shows Conti was hands-on with the marijuana company and sought to remain behind the scenes. In one text message he sends to Jenkins and others, Conti expressed concern about the video surveillance system at the cannabis company, which which is monitored by state regulators, writing, I've been thinking about it, and I don't think it's smart for me to be there on camera today. We have come too far to raise any red flags at this point. A 2018 text message reveals Conti shared details about how the state budget would regulate marijuana under then-Speaker Nicholas Mattiello before the budget was made public. That can't be happening, that shouldn't be happening. Jenkins was criminally charged and pleaded no contest to charges that as a convicted felon, he lied about his role in the business. Conti was not charged. A spokesperson for Attorney General Peter Narona says, as it's written now, the state's medical marijuana law does not have criminal consequences for individuals who do not disclose their interest in a marijuana business. John Marion from Good Government Group Common Cause Rhode Island says that's a loophole that needs to be closed. If you uh, don't follow the law uh, and in this case don't disclose your ownership uh, as is required by law, you shouldn't be able to walk away scot-free, right? You know, you shouldn't be able to just 
divest, walk away, there are no legal consequences. Uh, and so something needs to change. The text messages also show Conti sought help from Pawtucket city leaders when the marijuana operation was having trouble getting city paperwork in order ahead of a key state inspection. Writing, I just spoke with the Pawtucket chief of staff and he is calling the building inspector now. I told him I need it done today. He added once things were complete to let him know. I want to call my friend and thank him. Despite the mountain of evidence gathered by the state police and DBR, a lawyer for Conti said in an email, Mr. Conti had no role in the business organization Organic Bees. Mr. Conti has been employed by the House of Representatives honorably, serving under four speakers. In a state police affidavit, Detective Matthew Lynch writes Conti was surveilled by the state police at events hosted and attended by high-ranking members and associates of the New England La Cosa Nostra, including a 2020 Christmas party at a Federal Hill restaurant attended by members of the Mafia's top echelons, among them underboss Edward Eddie Leto and capo Matthew Guglielmetti. That is absolutely astounding. 12 News law enforcement analyst and former state police superintendent Stephen O'Donnell says it's important for regulators and the public to know who is involved in marijuana businesses as the industry is on the verge of expanding in Rhode Island. So yeah, if someone's not honest in application, there should be some sanction to that. A spokesperson for the House Speaker said in a statement, Speaker Shikarchi has absolutely no knowledge of the business entity known as Organic Bees or any of the other allegations. Again, John Conti resigned just hours before this investigation aired. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.